Good evening, guys. I'm going for dinner, getting ready. I don't normally start my vlogs at the end of the day, but it's a very exciting dinner because it's one of the first vlogger dinners since COVID, which is really cool. I'm really excited for this. It's a Wild by Tart, which is actually really close to me, which is good news because I need to leave in 15 minutes. I was gonna decide what to wear and I thought maybe we could decide what to wear together. I actually just got some new Chanel boots, which are beautiful. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear them. I'm not really sure. Oh, I also have a new pair of trousers. Oh my gosh, they're so amazing. I have a new pair of jeans that I might wanna wear, which are so cool. I wore them the other day. You'll see, you can see them on my stories. I'll put in a picture. They're from Rails. I've never heard of Rails before, but you know what, actually, <laughs> They're really really tight around the waist and I couldn't really sit down in them. They weren't the most comfortable, but they look amazing So I don't know if I can want to wear those mm, I could wear this Magda Budrum top actually I feel like my last vlogmas vlogtober started with me deciding what to wear as well This is a really pretty top. I haven't worn that in ages I actually wore that last when I was doing a lot of bridesmaid stuff when I was engaged and the top just cringed me out for a bit, but I'm over it now. It doesn't cringe me out anymore. But for a hot minute there, every time I saw the top, I would just get like shudders. <laughs> but past that, now the top can have a revival. I think it's definitely a jeans vibe. Unless, no, you know what? Oh my gosh, wait, where's my far fetch order? I ordered, where is it? That's not that, it can't be that. Oh, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. It's here. I ordered a top and I was gonna wear it, uh, dinner tomorrow. Maybe I'll wear it tonight instead, actually. I was ordering some new pieces on Farfetch. This is the only one of, I think I ordered maybe like five pieces that's arrived so far. This came from Lithuania. That's what I love about Farfetch. They have so many different boutiques on there. And I actually saw this. I haven't seen this top anywhere else except Farfetch and I always shop this brand. This is Self Portrait. Because Self Portrait has such a wide range, I just haven't seen it anywhere. Oh, it's really pretty. I think, I don't know if it's gonna to be too formal tonight, but look at this. Oh, it's got gorgeous little sleeves, little polka dot sheer black sleeves with a black corset in it. <gasps> Might have to be this. Might have to be that. So this is one of the first new season pieces. I've got in my wardrobe. I might just wear this with blue leather. Leather jeans? I wasn't gonna say leather, but maybe, maybe we do leather, guys. Maybe we do leather. Anyway, I can't wait to show you what else I bought new season from Farfetch because I have some really great new pieces. And this is actually something else I bought from Farfetch, which I might pair with them. I bought these a couple weeks ago and I've been wearing them non-stop since. But I can't wait to show you my new season pieces from Farfetch because autumn, winter is probably the half of the year that I don't get that excited about new things as much as I do summer. But I found such winners on Farfetch that I'm gonna show you. Oh, I do have a Farfetch discount code, which is YT Amelia 10 that will get you 10% off your Farfetch order. Let's try these on. Oh my goodness, this top was made for me. <laughs> the boys call me Little Miss Sleeves because I love, love, love sleeves. I'm gonna have to cut that little tag off inside, but it's so flattering. I mean, look at this little corset. There is something so sexy about a corset. It just hugs you in in all the right places. I love these. This detail here because I just find that really, really flattering. Sheer sleeves. Great, sometimes the bustier bit of tops can make your boobs look a funny shape if they've got the shape a bit wrong. This shape is dead right. I look like Little Miss Jessica Rabbit, don't I? I haven't seen this top anywhere else except Farfetch. I think this is literally gonna be my outfit tonight. I have a fun bag, which I thought could be cute to wear. This is a little Bulgari. Then I have these pants, which are from Lajons. I did actually get them from Farfetch a few weeks ago. They're coated trousers. If you're looking for jeans, get this jean. I'm gonna leave the name of it down below and the size that I get. If you're short like me, these are such, I'm actually gonna get these in actual jeans as well, but I've just got the leather coated version for now, but I feel like I found a really great winning pair of jeans in this and also my little Chanel pumps. So that is my outfit of the night. Yay, sorted. I'm gonna cut off these tags. Goodbye. 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 Kept it simple on my neck with a little Maya necklace and got a super fun evergreen stack on my ears. Hello you. Do you think you're coming? No way, you're too clever. You're too clever for that. You know heels means you're not coming and trainers means you're coming with me, right? Love you monkey. Be good. I'll be home in two hours. Okay, walking over to dinner. Just 
someone is smoking something they probably shouldn't be. <laughs> By the way, that someone ate me. I, I smelt it. This is Eccleston Yards. Let's go and find this wild by tart. Oh my god, look how cute. Wow. Alright, finally made it. It was actually the first place we saw outside. Oh, look how pretty. Look how beautiful this dinner setup is. It's so pretty. Naomi's here. I'll go say hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, babe. I actually just asked Roxy if I could show her outfit on the vlog. Because, wait, hold on. Okay. I because I literally need this whole look. Right, let's start from the boots. So nice. Wait, you have to say where stuff is from. This is how we do an outfit of the day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, yeah, we're not, we don't just want to see, we want to know, you know? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, the boots. Can they hear me? Yeah, yeah, they can hear you. <laughs> okay, Isabel Morel boots. We need this dress situation. Oh my gosh, I'm buying this when I get home. I think it's 26 pounds. It's amazing. Yeah, if you told me like Jacques Mousse, I'd believe you. And then this is also Ooh. I like it like two sizes up. Okay, so it looks, yeah. I like it as like a dress covering situation. Love that. I'm saving this outfit, I'm very happy. Thank you so much everyone for coming. This feels so special. This is Naomi having her Jerusalem. <laughs> Do you eat them with your hands? Oh no, that was just me being her. Oh no, no, I, I, I love eating them with my hands. They're good. They're really good. They're like fried. Mm. Wow. Oh, so good. I had to come home because Duke had been at home for quite a bit and needed to walk him. You guys will notice something about me in that. Oh! snapped off. I've taken off my gels and I'm trying to make it through three weeks because my nails got quite sensitive to gels. It's not going well. I don't love not having long nails and my nails keep breaking which is pretty annoying. Anyway the point of my story was what I was going to tell you bathroom chat, AL bathroom chats, is that I'll always wear the same thing at home. <laughs> like whenever I'm at home I'll just wear the same like jumper or top. Right now it's this which I love, it's so cozy, but that's just what I do. I'll wear it for like a week every day at home. Just when I'm like chilling, not even out and about. Like when I, as soon as I get home, I'll put this on or like last week it was that like pink jumper or whatever. The next week it will change something else. You'll probably see me in this top every day. I'm just warning you. It's just a weird habit I have. It's probably just me, to be honest. Anyway, I'm gonna use, speaking of smart skin, I'm gonna use the golden jelly to oil cleanser which I've tried before and I love. It's super, super creamy. And it goes an oil on your skin and then when you mix it with water, it's like milk. It's quite cool. Anyway, that was so nice to see everyone. I love sitting with Roxy. Tomorrow, I have another event, which is so cool. I'm going to Greenwich for a special project with Sky. It's the biggest launch of the past, like literally 20 million gazillion years. Wow, this is really good. This is taking off, I was like, am I wearing waterproof mascara? I am. Oh my gosh, literally in the last vlog, I said how it's so hard to take off waterproof mascara, but look, this has literally just melted it off like it's no big deal at all. Now I look like a panda. Wow, I haven't used this since I've been obsessed with waterproof mascara, but it is seriously melting everything away. I am impressed. Oh my gosh, look at that. Everything just melted away, this stuff. It's awesome. <laughs> I just got a message from my stay. Mercury is retrograde. This makes a lot of sense. Good times. She sent me a, a meme <laughs> just now, which said, <laughs> funny, but it took me a while because I'm quite slow. The meme said, if his name has letters in it, focus on yourself, hun. <laughs> So funny. Morning everyone. How are we all today? I actually just got another far-fetched delivery in. Dun, 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 dun. Which I think has some sunglasses in it, I hope. And actually one of my favorite workout outfits ever. Oh, what do we think? 
These are really affordable for designer sunglasses. They're around £100, which compared to Dior, Miu Miu, Celine, that's like a fraction of the price. Plus with the 10% code I have for you. Look at how great this little tortoise shell is. Ooh, it's like a burnt colour. These are really cool. Gonna wear these today with, even though it's not sunny, but you know, I like, I like the sunglasses on head vibe. I've got a new top. I'm going to an event. Sorry, I'm a bit frazzled today. I'm a bit late, but let me just quickly tell you why. <laughs> It's gonna sound really stupid, but maybe some people will be able to relate to this. And it's actually really funny. I was actually watching a Brene Brown documentary. Um, it's actually a talk she did on Netflix and this really relates to it. And it's kind of all about fear. And last night on the way to dinner, I was so happy and I was just thinking about the day and how I was just in a really good mood that I cried from fear of something bad happening. And I was just like, oh my, I just had this moment of, oh my God, I'm so happy and so content. Something bad's gonna happen now. And then I just started crying in the car. And I was like, okay, I had a little pep talk with myself and I was like, pull yourself together. This is all fear talking. Yes, life has ups and life has downs, but just because you're happy now doesn't mean 100% like right now something bad's gonna happen. And it's always, 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 my biggest fear is always someone close to me passing away. And then I'll like get into this like worked up anxious state and it just takes over me. When you say it aloud, like it sounds so embarrassing and dumb, but in the moment it just feels so real and I'm like convinced that something bad's gonna happen because I'm like, well, I feel so happy and Happy times also come with sad times and there's like bad times and good times. That's just a part of life. So I'm so happy now, which means something bad is coming, which is such a part of my like superstitious heritage as well, I think. It's just something that I really need to work on and get over. And part of that is acknowledging it. And that is why I'm sharing this with you today because I feel like if I let it out there, acknowledge it, recognize it, put a label on it, then it's easier to let go of. So that's why I'm in a bit of a frazzled way this morning because I just kind of, I woke up still with that feeling of like, almost, it's almost like guilt for feeling content in a weird way. It's like, oh, I shouldn't be in such a good mood. I don't know, it's really weird. So anyway, I'm gonna work on that with myself today because for the first time in a while, I think especially since COVID, I felt like really content and then I almost like made myself feel guilty for feeling like that. It's so strange isn't it how the human mind works. Anyway if anyone relates to this let me know in the comments. I'm sure we can have a nice big old discussion about it because I was contemplating vlogging my little breakdown on the way to dinner and I just wasn't in the right right mental state for that. Right let's get changed. So this is the top I wanted to show you. It's a little Nushka number it's actually like a knit strapless top which i think is so great for right now when you want to look cute but it's still kind of cold and you want to wear something knitted if this was like cotton it would just look totally different if it was knit i feel like i'm wearing another pair of a different pair of leather pants today i can't get out of my leather pants i thought about wearing the cream ones that i wore the other day but actually i thought that these looked a bit better take a look at these, this little outfit shindig. Sorry, ignore the situ that's going on in my cupboard. I'm gonna be packing everything up to move this weekend. I'm gonna start, so just ignore that. But anyway, I'm wearing it with these little Manolos underneath, and I'm actually gonna put a blazer over the top. This is with said blazer. I feel like the navies work really well together. And then if I wanted to do a little, you know how people kind of wear their blazer a bit like this sometimes or whatever, if I wanted to do that, I can. I'm wearing these Soru Fashion Bug Blog earrings which I think are really cool and I've actually put a little evil eye in my ear a little evil eye ray stud and I'm wearing my little Maya necklace as well and some jewels this one is Kimai I always get asked about this ring you can actually get Kimai on Farfetch as well and this is a little Amal cluster I kept my jewelry kind of simple what perfume what perfume maybe C I love this a classic and before I go the other thing in my Farfetch order which I'm gonna put in a clip of me wearing is this this little workout two-piece I have this in brown and blue and they just came out with it in black and I grabbed it because the brown and blue sold out so quick and then every time I wore it people were like where's it from where's it from and no one could get it anymore so I saw on Farfetch it was new in so I got it because it just is so flattering and actually really cool I'm so happy it's in um, black now and I really like it with the cream so yeah if you want this grab it fast with the discount code because last time it totally disappeared and I keep wearing mine and everyone's always like where's it from where's it from anyway I'm going now to the sky event i need to make sure i have my id actually gonna go see the new sky glass 
TV reveal, which is gonna be really cool. So now we're outside, I can show you a bit more of my outfit. And you can see this teddy top closer, which is nice. I love it. I love the scallop. I feel like this kind of scallop is way better than a straight. It's just a bit more flattering with the sweetheart boobs. Got the little matching blazer on, uh, the pants, little gray accessories, new sunnies. Ready? Wow, doesn't this look cool? Look where we are. It's a dome. Right opposite, this giant sky. I was like, how am I going to find it? got out the cab I was like it's right here <laughs> okay <laughs> let the magic begin here we go Woo! I'm a newbie again yes. hello <laughs> last night was so nice it was so, so lovely probably the best the wrong way. way oh we're missing our, our friends <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we walked in we started singing happy birthday to smart skin and then Rosanna was like whose birthday is it we were like Rosanna <laughs> why, do, what, what do you, why are you here? Why are you anyway, we're going into the little sky pod so now. To see this. Go and have a look and see oh, all the like new sky glass features. Here it is. Sky glass, look how beautiful. Yes. Apparently yeah. the speaker in it is absolutely like incredible and there are three different sizes. That's all the goss I've managed to squeeze out of the PRs right now. So let's see what else. Hello sky, volume 30. Wow, that's so cool. Hello sky. Home. The new glass has audio. Hello Sky. Skip to 41 minutes. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Can you press high? Spoiler alert. <laughs> 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 like, oh. like Testing the sound. This is so loud. Ah! <laughs> you for scale, Naomi. <laughs> this is the large. <laughs> Than any oh like my god! My this it's is like the medium and this is the small. I feel like I have a small size, this kind of size TV in my house now. And there are so many different colors. This is the green. Oh my god, look! Fleur, the remote is green. Isn't that cool? The green is cool. There's a white with the right remote. I think there's also rose gold. The navy, I really like. I feel like the navy is... The navy is my vibe with the nice navy remote. That's beautiful. Apparently, that I want to see the rose gold downstairs as well. This is hands down the coolest TV you will ever have the pleasure of knowing. I'm going to tell you more about it in the car because I just got distracted by this little cute tunnel. Reduced power consumption on the TV. Wow, this is cool, isn't it? Oh, here's the TV. Doesn't cost the earth. It's actually really affordable, free from single-use plastic. Wow! Ooh. The world's first TV to be certified carbon neutral. That is so cool. And it combines everything in one. And it's the only TV to arrive in packaging that's recyclable and free from single-use plastic. That's amazing! That is literally tip of the iceberg about why it's amazing. I'll tell you more. Going into the sonic boom room. Hello! This noise is just from this speak on sky glass, nothing else. It literally sounds like the surround sound. This is really snazz, isn't it? Oh, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Thank you. Gotta go home now. I'm absolutely buzzing from that event. Sky glass is one of the most revolutionary things and I can just see how buzzing the whole Sky team were at this event. What they have put together, not only the event, but the Sky Glass itself. Oh my gosh, it's a revolutionary TV. It is so cool. It has voice control, voice recognition. It doesn't require any wires, which is revolutionary because I always get all the wires and everything that like, totally messed up. You literally plug it straight in and if you have Wi-Fi, you're good to go. You can have your Netflix on there, you can have your Sky on there, whatever your usual subscriptions are, Spotify on there. It has energy saving qualities, like it has auto turn off. It ranges from 649 pounds to just over a thousand pounds for the biggest one, which is incredible. The speaker in it is unlike anything else, any other TV speaker. As you know, I'm doing up my house at the moment and I was thinking about having Sonos in my living room, but I honestly think just sky glass is going to be totally fine. You can buy it outright or you can buy it and do monthly packages like you would pay for your sky. So you can, I'm probably going to buy one outright because I already have my sky subscription. It's so cool. The quality is incredible. 
I'm so, I'm just so excited about it. It sits totally flush. The colors are really cool as well. I think my favorite color was navy or white as well. Navy or white, I can't really decide, but maybe because I'm in a navy mood today, aren't I? And also to let you know, I'm a Sky Ambassador and I'm so grateful to be a Sky Ambassador because I love Sky so much. I, could, I don't go a day without using Sky, um, but this was not sponsored. Just a really big fan. Morning guys. Wanted to show you this fully in action now or close up. I would recommend getting a size up on the top. I need to kind of like hide my boobs a tiny bit and push them down. But it is so supportive. Like I dance in this set all the time, run. But it just looks so pretty, doesn't it? Like look at these leggings. They're so cool. I love them anyway i have a feeling this will sell out like the blue and brown one did so get it while you can if you want to leggings are super flattering as well i actually prefer this to the blue and brown one anyway now this was the only thing in my haul that i'm not really sure about so i've kept the tag on let me know what you think if you've made it to the end of the video then let me know if you think i should keep or return this little jacquemus i think it's actually really flattering now i see it in pictures it's got little buttons down the front but if I breathe out the holes like open more <laughs> then if I breathe in does that make sense and they've got them down the sleeves as well I think it's actually a really nice formal shirt the fit is really nice and very flattering I don't know about all these holes that's the only thing like I feel I'd feel better if it was like that but then I guess that is like typical Jacques Mousse and like looks much cooler. <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you think if you've made it to this point of the video and you're still paying attention. I'm going to keep this top with the tags on until, well it's Friday today, so until Sunday by the time you're watching this video. I'm now going to go and have an interior design meeting, which is going to be really cool. I'm vlogging all the interior and house things together so that you can see everything in one go. So I'll post that maybe in the next week or so. Apart from that, remember you have a little Farfetch code to shop as well. And I will see you on Wednesday with another Vlogtober. Mwah. Bye guys.